You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be doing predictions for the WWE TLC pay-per-view. Yeah. Um, so, your excitement level? Um, there's potential, that's for sure. Um, all right, oh, all right. so, potential for it to be... Good. Good? Like, better than the normal weekly shows because of how low your... <laughs> <laughs> expectations are for monday night Raw. And... yeah because it it's pretty much guaranteed to be better than a, a weekly show just oh, because yeah. of how bad they've been um oh no oh like drop to the bottom yeah of the it, it's and heavy i, like, I don't know that's it. heavy yeah um anyway <laughs> yeah so uh yeah it's it's definitely gonna be better it's gonna be more entertaining than a normal show that's for sure yeah um, but, but you know I, it, I, it could be very good it really could be. There's a lot of a lot of potential good matches. Well, oh yeah, there's definitely going to be a handful of good matches. There's, at least there's a couple of stinkers or guaranteed stinkers, or likely stinkers <laughs> at the very least. Um, so so it's a mixed bag. But, there's, here. but the thing is, there's really no match that looks like it's going to not be good. Well, I think it's more or less that there's no unknowns. Generally, yeah. most people have worked with each other, so... Oh, there's no, like, uh... Okay, yeah. we haven't had this... Right, yeah, okay, right, right. True. I mean, um, Seth and Dean, Daniel Bryan and AJ, yeah. Finn and Drew McIntyre, Elias and Bobby Lashley, yeah. everybody. Everybody's, you know, this Natalia is and Ruby Riot. Right, Randy Orton and Rey Mysterio probably yeah, they, know each uh, other better than anybody. I don't think they've ever wrestled before. Yeah, never. So, uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's get started. Yeah, since there has been no announced pre match pre match show pre match the show match. Yeah, uh, if there's gonna be two, it's gonna be the mixed match challenge in Italian Ruby. Well, they usually do just one, right, in the shortened form. I know, but, but I'm just saying if there's gonna yeah. be two, and there's still potential for them to announce more matches. Yeah, I guess I, I doubt there's way too many matches already. Well, one for the pre-show since nothing has been announced because, like I said before, we were recording that Naomi and I think Mandy Rose was cut from SmackDown this past week. Yeah, that's not a so not it, a potential. Look, I know look, it was man, cut. It's not look, gonna man. Happen. I'm just saying it will not happen. That's not a just that's saying. not a match that goes okay. We need this to happen. That's a match like eh, whatever. <laughs> that's what it is. I guess so. All right, so let's start with the uh, mixed match challenge final. Yes, there's one way that it, one million percent should happen, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, the WWE doesn't like doing things mm -hmm. the right way. So, but there's no reason for our truth and Carmella not to win. It's true. And we Those talked about this. What we've talked about yeah. it. Yeah, talked great lengths. Yeah. So, fabulous truth. Needs to win just so that our truth can enter number thirty in the women's Royal Rumble. That's it, and that's that's plain and simple. Yeah. I really don't care about anything else. I mean, you've at least had a struggle with Jinder and Alicia and the Singh brothers, but past this, it's not going to go anywhere. So no, there's no point in them really winning. Yeah, well, that and the fact that you have a, an actual. The only group. thing I'm I want to see is that whoever wins this, we better get video clips of their vacation together. It, it, I was going to say, also, uh, having R-Truth and Carmella is going to be a lot more interesting if they do that sure. than if they do... But Alicia, Alicia Fox said the Singh brothers can't go with them. Well, obviously. <laughs> but, and, and it'll be just Alicia yelling at Jinder the whole time, so yeah. that might be a lot of entertaining. But still, I would much rather see R-Truth and Carmella. I, I think agree. everybody else would agree. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Um, Seth versus Dean in a, a regular match. Yeah, it's just a regular IC title match. A little match. surprised, but I guess it's better than This should have been it. the ladder match, uh, at least, if not for a TLC. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I, it should, you I, have all the reason for it to be a stipulation yeah, match. And they choose not to. I think it should have been a TLC match, if anything. I think any other match probably wouldn't have made any sense oh, well a ladder match would have worked too yes but seth has done so many ladder matches i lately. guess that's true and i guess he did just have a tlc match on raw yeah. so so i i For think the ratings right matt i think i'm okay yes i think <laughs> i'm okay with it being a regular match because it is the first match in what i can yeah. only imagine will be a series of matches so 
I, I think Dean really needs to pick this title up. Yes. There's no reason he shouldn't. No. Nope. This should fizzle. Well, it'll probably have a blow off at maybe the Rumble or something like that if it goes that far. Seth will get his rematch. It, probably depends, a it depends on what you think is going to happen after the Rumble. Well, that's the problem. There's so many question marks. Yeah. Because oh. it's, does Lesnar still have the title right. after the Rumble? So does Dean because or Seth go Seth after the title? should go. He should move up after this. It that's, should. That's it. Should. And Dean's all right holding that icy title. I think he should have it for a little bit, drop it, yeah. and then find something else like, to I mean, do. You gave the man the reins when he was the heel and he was with the authority. Why not just do, do it, it now? Use the face? I mean, yeah. Literally, it, things can't get worse. I mean, I, 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 you know what? I, I guess there's always a possibility they, they that can. they can. They can. But you're not going to lose your TV deal. That's true. It's you're still going now. to Fox in... 11 months, 10 now. months, whatever it is. So, um, But yeah, I, I think that Dean is a good chance of winning. Because if he doesn't win, then what? what's the whole point what's of the it? Point? Yeah. What's the point? So, yeah, I, I'm going to go with Dean, All too. All right, so we're, uh, we're even there. Yeah. Now, this one is the first of two matches that we're not even sure are going to happen. It's true. We got Braun Strowman versus Baron Corbin in a TLC match. If Corbin wins, he is going to be the permanent, in quotes, I guess, uh, Raw general manager. And then if Braun wins, he gets his rematch at, um, or I guess he gets another match against Braun, not Braun, against uh, Brock. Mm -hmm. Too many Bs. Another match against Brock for the Universal title at the Royal Rumble. So, do you think there is any way that this changes to Kurt Angle and Baron Corbin? No. You, the Kurtz, you think he's done? Is like I mean, he's got to play a I factor I somewhere. I don't think that unless Braun just wins and Kurt comes back, and it's just like, all yes. right, that's it. I don't, I don't mm, actually. No, I think about maybe. I don't right. think that they should go with Kurt Angle either, though. No, as the general manager. No, but I mean, you just change the stipulate. Oh yeah, I guess that makes I don't, sense. Because then that would be the natural progression is they have him go back to the yeah and then, i don't i don't want him to be the general manager anymore it's not good i know <laughs> so i honestly i would prefer having stephanie being omnipresent like pages yes i don't because know if she can she can't do it can't. i'm just saying i would prefer that <laughs> or having somebody else do it yeah i guess so it's just they're not the right you know no it'd be interesting Having Roman come back and be the general manager and not wrestle. <laughs> no, because no, oh and this is why it would be you. This is why it would be interesting because oh it'd be a test. God. It'd be a test because everyone was so happy or so like supported of him while he's going through this. Imagine he comes back. What are they gonna do? Because he's not wrestling. He can't wrestle because he's not cleared, but he's still around. <laughs> and he's going to be a focal point of Raw. You know? It's a good question. Sometimes your thoughts shouldn't come out They don't mouth. make any sense, but it's, <laughs> it's interesting. It's terrible. It's interesting. It's not going to happen. I know, but it would be an interesting thought. Sometimes you're smarter when you don't speak. I guess, but I just... I Because that just, that just popped into my head. All right. I, that thought had never crossed my mind before just now. So I figured I'd throw it out there. Uh, what, is he going to come out of chemo and just be like, all right, you know, guys, we're going to make this match or something like no, that? I'm I just mean, saying... Well, he doesn't need to be there every week, though. We've no, already proven that... Uh, authority figures don't need to be true. there every week. So. Just have somebody sit in their office. When somebody wants a match, they go in and that's it. Yeah. He can even do it remotely. You can do it from his house. <laughs> That'd be funny. <sighs> anyway. Oh God. Um, I would very much like to see Braun actually... Uh, oh, you want to see Braun versus Brock Lesnar again and have Braun lose? I'm just saying I don't want Baron Corbin to be the general manager. That's what I'm getting. Oh, we're at. going for it. We're going for zero viewers. Yeah. So <laughs> if if Braun isn't actually able to wrestle because this is the big question mark, um, if he people... does have a replacement, I still don't think it should be Kurt Angle. Bray Wyatt. That that's that's <laughs> what some people are know, suggesting. Why would that make any sense? Um, I I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have an answer for that. Um, like, this pay-per-view could be really good, or if it could potentially be shit with the way they book some of these yeah, matches. Yeah, because it can be very head-scratching. Because, yeah, sometimes this, there's a possibility this could be the main event of the show. Mm. 
If if it's not going to happen, it won't be. No, but... Th- I think there's a better chance of Becky, Charlotte, and Asuka main event. That eventing. should be main event. Yeah. But I'm saying there's still a possibility this is the A storyline on Raw. Raw always comes over SmackDown. It's true. It's possible. Shouldn't. Yeah. But. Yeah. All right. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with, because we don't know for sure if Braun's actually going to be in the match, I'm going to go with Corbin loses. Yeah, regardless? Yes. That's a fair point. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I got to agree with you there. The only thing is, I don't know, what are you, what are you just going to have Corbin back as a regular roster? And he's going to get humiliated and destroyed. I guess. That, that's what's going to happen. I guess. Doesn't so. really do anything for anybody, but hey. But I think it's at, cause, sure because of the way down. that everything worked. It, it's If if he, Corbin had been received a little better in his authoritative role, mm-hmm. probably wouldn't have come to this anyway. So I think that's why they did what they did. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ronda Rousey versus Nia Jax for the Raw Women's Championship. Um, Ronda's going till at least Mania to break her face. Yeah, nah, that's gonna be garbage. Yeah. Oh no, it's not gonna be good. I'm just saying. Actually, Ron- no, they put on a decent match. The two of them at uh, Money in the Bank. I have to say. Yeah, we'll see. But- Ronda always does come through at the pay per views. It's true. Since she doesn't wrestle on Raw most most weeks anyway, yeah. which is funny because she said on Raw that she came out to fight and then stood at ringside. Hmm? <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, Ronda's going to win. There's no... No, there's no reason. And like you said, Nijak's going to go into obscurity. And mm-hmm. Smack it, down. This was just Take made to um, make her... Yes, we're in the basement, yes. <laughs> this was just... This match was made to make... Well, technically it happened before. But I think they're using... They made Nia Jax the big heel just yeah. to have... There, There's that worry that it could continue past because there's nothing... No one else really yeah. to challenge. It's true. The only logical um, choice is the person she's been teaming with. Yeah. So, <laughs> but I feel like that should be more of an extended feud rather than. I a mean, one-off? I guess it could. I I think there's a pretty good chance that Nia versus Ronda happens at the Royal Rumble. Yeah. I'm not happy about it, but there's a pretty good yeah. chance. Um, so you're gonna agree with me? Ronda wins. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure. You gotta ask. I'm not picking Nia Jackson. Yeah. Watch she'll win. All right. So we got of Tamina. Yeah, that would be uh, that'd be uh, funny. Yeah. All right. We got Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles in another regular singles match for the WWE Championship. Yeah. And this is, you know, I mean, I, I don't think Daniel Bryan's gonna lose it. He's got momentum. He's good being the heel that he is. And AJ's in the doghouse. Sure. Well, he doesn't want to work every week anymore. Huh. I don't want to work every week either. I guess that's they true. They love me at work. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, Daniel Bryan's going to hold on. Yeah, to no, it. no doubt. There's no reason for AJ to pick it back up again. No, and that, but this just goes, where do they go with AJ? I think AJ and The Miz have been wrestling on the house show circuit. That's fine. Because it was funny because AJ dressed up in The Miz's gear. That's and, funny. And like taunted him while he was you know, showboating to the crowd. That's funny. Yeah. So, I mean, if they went with that, I'd be fine. Yeah, and it gets the Miz away from Shane, Shane. and that's all that matters. Shane, bad. Yeah. Basement now. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we're in agreement. We got Daniel Bryan winning this match. (laughs) Yes. Um, Now we have what should be, like you said, the main event. Yeah. Becky Lynch versus Charlotte versus Asuka Asuka. in a triple threat tables, ladders, and chairs match. Yeah. Um, This is going to be probably the hardest match to call. I I think Asuka is going to win. That was my original thought. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you probably have her and Charlotte again. At the Rumble. Yeah. Well, no, Becky would get a rematch, though. Okay, I guess. But that might happen on SmackDown. I guess it could. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, yeah. Well, I Because my thought process is that Becky's going to win the Rumble and challenge Ronda. Ronda. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's the... So, I don't think well it while it is possible i don't think they're gonna have becky wrestle in the rumble and have a title match so i think charlotte versus oscar is going to happen at the royal rumble um with becky being in the royal rumble and probably winning it yeah um and uh yeah well so it's just a matter of who's going to be champion right. going into the rumble yeah 
Or they have Becky lose her title and then go into yeah. Royal that's what Rumble. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Becky retaining, retaining and somehow losing it before the Rumble. All right, that's go fine. through it. Or if they just go back with, they could go with Charlotte versus uh, Ronda. I don't think that they are going to. I don't you know, but there's you have unfinished business there too. That's true. That's fair. I think it's I a think tough call. All, it's a lot of time. All three of them. Too many variables. Yeah. Well, because the whole reason why Asuka's in the match is apparently because Vince, like, finally saw that fans like her. And she got inserted because of the fan reaction during yeah. or right before when Becky picked Charlotte to face Ronda. Let's be honest here, though. When you have, I mean, obviously that moment in time. Mm-hmm. But when you have Asuka standing there with the rest of the SmackDown Live roster, not including Charlotte and Becky, come on. It's true. She is the only option. Come on. Yeah. But Charlotte was in the group, though, so it's not like Charlotte wasn't there. But Charlotte was feuding with Becky at know, that point. And why would the fans want it after they turned yeah. on it's Charlotte, true. so to speak? It's yeah. true. Whatever. Anyway. All right, so yeah, you, you're picking Asuka. I'm picking Becky. Yes. Very good. All right, so we got Finn Balor versus Drew McIntyre, yeah. another match that might not happen. Finn Balor with the win by puking on Drew McIntyre. Oh, that would make sense. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, Drew's going to win. He's if, got if the match it. Happens. There's... You would think he's got to build, keep the momentum going. Mm-hmm. I mean, Finn winning does nothing. We've seen too much with Finn going up, down, up, down, up, down. So Yeah, it's true. Drew, so. all the way. Yeah. Uh, Elias versus Bobby Lashley in a ladder match uh, that we still don't understand the rules to quite. Yeah, because there's going to be a guitar yeah. above the ladder. Uh, Should have been Leo Rush in a cage match. Yeah. Or That'll be a Royal Rumble. Watch. In the shark cage? In the shark cage, yep. yeah. it's possible. Right, because that's when uh, Jericho is in the shark cage with Jericho Owens versus in... Roman. Yeah, and yeah. then same thing with Enzo being above the ring with oh, Big Cash God. versus uh, the Big Show. That was terrible. Yeah. That was bad. Um, But yeah, uh, I don't know. Elias wins? I, I mean, I guess. I mean, mm. Lashley's come out on top most weeks. And... I, I think the big question is... Um, if Baron Corbin continues his authority, then maybe Bobby Lashley wins because then they're on top. I guess. So that would be another reason why Elias will win if Baron Corbin loses. Yeah. Because, you know, that's the whole thing that's driving Bobby Lashley now is that he has the support of Baron Corbin. I guess that's true. So, and he wants to show people his butt. That, that's also <laughs> true. <laughs> All right, I'm going with Elias regardless because I love Elias. Yeah, I, I, I have to agree. I think that Elias is I mean, granted, right. Bobby Lashley, when you look at this match, you should automatically think that Bobby Lashley should win this because he should be one to go up against Brock Lesnar at some point. But since they have booked Bobby Lashley the way they have booked Bobby Lashley, that is not where we're at. Mm-mm, definitely not. No. Uh, all right, so we got The Bar versus The New Day and versus The Usos for the uh, SmackDown Tag Team Championship. N- nothing. Just a regular yeah, old just match. Just a regular match. It should have been a TLC match. It should have been. Easily. Like, <sighs> so dumb. They could have capitalized so much on it. They could have just done video packages. Oh, look at what happened the last time three teams were in it. Yep. So instead simple. of a rap battle. <laughs> um, yes, instead of a rap battle. I really... There's there's no good choice here. There really isn't. Because, because it's going to still stay between these three teams. That is true. And none of them need the credibility anymore. No. I mean, I would be fine with the Usos picking it up again. Uh, that's probably who I would prefer to win. Yeah. I don't, I don't, we don't need the New Day being tag team champions anymore. No. It's but not problem, necessary. You don't need these three teams on the same show. Yeah. Well, you have the best three teams on right one, on one show yeah and then, and then you have poo poo yeah <laughs> on the other show yeah so actually technically speaking you probably have the best four or five teams on yeah. smackdown and then on raw you have nobody the poo poo yeah <laughs> so I, i'm okay with i'm okay with any outcome to this yeah i'm, I'm gonna pick the use i uh, just to be different i'll pick um the bar to retain that's yeah. fine just just because i don't really care it really doesn't matter. Yeah, no, because like you said, it's going to be the same thing no matter what. That's the problem here. We um, don't. We have what four months until the superstar shakeup happens again. Yeah. If they continue to do it the way they do it. Mm-hmm. Um, um. All right. Up next is another probably pre-show match: Natalia versus Ruby Riot in a tables match. Yeah. Um. We both kind of think that Natalia's going to win. She dedicated it to her father. Come yeah. on, it, it's the only likely situation. 
So, yeah, Natalia. Yeah. It just sucks for Ruby because, again, like we spoke about I, in our podcast, that the whole reason Natalia should be there is to put, put over younger you. talent. Yeah. I don't know. I think that the Riot Squad have done a good enough job being the bad guys to yeah. not really be in a situation where they need a win. I guess so. So... Also, there's a very good chance that Natalia wins, and then... Well, if they utilize her for just having a little feud with Ronda, like a friendly type thing until the Rumble, you know, have them have a match at the Rumble, that would be fine, fine because that match should have happened a while ago. You don't need to turn somebody heel for that. Yeah, no, Who cares? They're friends. They... Friendly competition, whatever you want to call Which it. Which kind of speaks to what I was saying earlier about it uh, making it yeah. being sports but friendly. A, but at least they have some sort of history together. That's true. So, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. But that would either make way, sense. Natalia's going to win this yeah. match. Um, Buddy Murphy and versus Cedric Alexander We're for the Cruiserweight Championship. Going back to every time we talk about 205 Live since we don't watch the show. Not a clue. Um... I'm going to go Buddy Murphy. I like him. I mean, him. I don't see any reason to take the title off. I mean, yeah. Cedric had a, you know, a lengthy title. Yeah, an eight-month sup- reign or six-month reign or whatever Supposedly it was, was kind of lackluster in terms of what he did right. to enhance the show. Mm-hmm. And, again, hearing nothing but good things about how the Buddy show Murphy. has been yeah. lately. And yeah, I was so satisfied with what I saw between him and Mustafa at the uh, Survivor Series. Yep. So, so yeah, yeah, sure. We're going, Buddy Murphy. It sounds good to me. Um, and then we have Rey Mysterio versus Randy Orton in the everybody's favorite chairs match. It's fantastic. Um, it's almost as good as a stairs match. I wish. I wish we could have gotten Ruby Riot and Natalia in the stairs match. Nah, that, but <laughs> it'd be cool. If, who who would make sense to nobody in the stairs match? Baron Corbin versus Braun Strowman. No, there's already a TLC match. They should have uh, Ronda Rousey versus Nia Jackson. The there you match, go. Yeah. There you go. You have Nia throwing the chair, the stairs around like it's nothing. Ronda can't actually pick him up. Mm-hmm. That'd be funny. But yeah, Rey Mysterio versus Orton. Oh, yeah. You know what they're going to probably do with Natalia and Ruby Riot? Granted, we're like a couple matches past. Um, you'll probably have Bailey and Sasha come in. At uh, ringside. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I'm, I'm still... It they still blows my anything. mind that they don't... You know, like they the were tag. so such prominent... <laughs> Uh, wrestlers, and mm-hmm. all of a sudden they're just thrown to the back of the line. Yeah, at least like they, they had a reason for Sasha not being at Raw this week. Yeah, and uh, for Survivor Series, they got him put it into the match after kicking out uh, Ruby and Natalia. Yeah. So right, I'm, not Natalia. Yeah, no, it, was it was Ruby, Ruby and, and Natalia. Natalia. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that Rey Mysterio oh, win the chair Oh, definitely match. going over. There's no reason. Randy Orton's got the upper hand almost every time except for the go-home. Yeah. There's no reason that Rey Mysterio shouldn't win this. Mm. Um, he actually wrestled, I think, uh, Andrade on the house show circuit over the week. And makes sense. Looked like they put on some good matches. Uh, it makes all the sense in the world. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah. It's, like you said, it's it's tough. Very one or two booking decisions could really uh, ruin the pay per view. It could um, potentially, but there's definitely promise there that it could be a good show. There's mm-hmm. enough. Potential. Yeah, potential. Exactly. Yeah. So, so uh, we shall see. Yes, that was our TLC preview and predictions video. Yes, if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.